In this video, I'll show how to redirect old domain URLs to a new domain. This video will be useful for you when you have moved a WordPress website to a new domain and you do not want to lose the website's existing traffic. You see this website wptrialzone.com? I moved this WordPress site to this testandtry.com domain. With the all-in-one WP migration and backup plugin, you can quickly transfer a WordPress site to a new domain. I have explained the process in another video. You will find the link to that video in the video description. Now, both websites have the same content. I can create redirections using a plugin on the old domain as I have explained in this video. But the process is not recommended when you need to redirect the complete website to a new domain. I should redirect whatever URLs I have on on the old domain. The URLs for all the posts, you can have thousands of posts. The URL for the pages, the categories, the tags and if you have any custom post types. I do not want to keep the website with the old domain up. After setting up the redirection, I will show how to update the property on Google Search Console to the new domain. Let's first create the redirection. This is the hosting panel of both the websites. Here you can see I have two websites. Testandtry.com, this is the new domain and WPTrialZone.com, this is the old domain. I will open the old domain here. Here I'll go to the files option. I need to find the .htaccess file. I can see the file here. I'll open the file and I'll delete all the code here. And I'll paste this code here. Here you see the old domain wptrialzone.com and www.wptrialzone.com. All the URLs with the old domain should go to the new domain that is this www.testandtry.com. I'll save this. This is the old domain. If I click on this, it should go to the new domain. I'll right click on this and open link in new tab and let's see. It automatically goes to the new domain on the same post. Here you see top color palettes in graphic design. This is on WP trial zone and this is on testandtry.com. Let's try another post. If I copy the link address and I'll open a new tab, I'll paste it first. You see wptrialzone.com and this URL is with the old domain. I'll press enter and it goes to the new domain automatically. This is because of this .htaccess file redirection. This redirection redirects all the URLs on the old domain to the new domain. Let's try to open a category. This is the sports category. When I right click on this open link a new tab, it goes to the same category on the new domain. We are done with the redirection. Now let's see how to update the domain on the Google Search Console property. Here I am on the Google Search Console. Here I only have the old domain WP Trial Zone. Since I have moved this website to testandtry.com, I need to update the domain here. I can add a new property but instead of adding a new property, I'll update the domain on the existing property. I'll go to the settings here. Here it has an option change of address. With this you can update the property to a new domain. I'll click on this. And here I need to select a site. Since I did not add the new domain yet, I need to add the domain first. I'll click on add property. I'll copy the domain name and I'll put it here. I'll continue. I'll download the HTML file to verify the domain. Now I'll open the files of the new domain testandtry.com. Here I'm on the files. I'll upload the downloaded HTML file from Google search console. I'll close this. Now I'll click on the verify button to verify the domain. Ownership verified. Now I'll click on the done button. Now I'll select the testentry.com domain. I'll click on validate and update. Validation passed. You see here 301 redirect from homepage. So it found we have redirection on the old domain and we have verification for both the side. Now I'll click on confirm move. We are done. With this process, you will not lose any SEO traffic. This is the correct process to update the domain on Google Search Console. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.